Welcome to the Monday News Wrap. I'm Adam McNichol filling in for Maddie Thompson who's over in London preparing to cover the synchronised swimming at the Olympics. And we start up in Sydney when it comes to footy and the Swans are very confident that their tough win over the Saints will set them up for a tilt at the flag come September. I mean they're the games you sort of you sort of pride yourself on. I mean we weren't in the game early and we sort of but we stuck in and we got ourselves back into the game at half time and then you know, got ahead in that last quarter and um, we're able to, when they kicked a goal, we're able to answer with another goal, which is, I mean, something that you always want to do. And, and in the last couple of minutes, like I said, we kicked some goals and sort of got a good win in the end. Just behind the Swans on percentage, Adelaide will have to weigh up what to do with Kurt Tippett after his latest bout of concussion. Yeah, he's put up OK. Um, you know, obviously, three concussions is not ideal in the last four weeks, but... Uh, you know, he's in uh, good hands with the docs and uh, you know, he should be, he should be you know, who knows what, what's going to happen but uh, he'll do all the testing and uh, hopefully he's available to play this week. The neurologist to see him, they're, they're just trying to work out if there's something they can pick that's going to protect him. From the image point of view, I expect him to miss a game or two more now, not because he's sick, because he was actually quite well afterwards, but it's really an unknown territory when you've got three so close together. If he does miss, they have a handy replacement ready to return. Can't wait to get text back. Yeah. He's a, he's a great kid, um, you know, he's been through a bit this year already, but he's playing some great footy and uh, can't wait to get him back down there in the forward line. And uh, hopefully he goes out there this week and kicks a few goals. Across town, Port Adelaide has refuted speculation that they've finally snared the prize signature of Travis Boak. No, nah, no, nah, he, um, he keeps himself Boakey and we're just, we're just concentrating on getting a win and getting Boakey playing his best footy. But um, yeah, as I said, I'm confident. The way he's been around the club and his leadership over the last couple of weeks, um, you know, I can I can see him being future at Port Adelaide. It was child's play at North Melbourne recovery this morning, but you could argue it was men against boys after Drew Petrie's seven-goal haul in the Kangaroos' thrilling four-point win over the Tigers last evening. When they kick it to me as much as I do, I probably should uh, some days take a few grabs uh, like yesterday. But uh, what I did doesn't happen without. What happens up the field? The win keeping them in the hunt for September action. Yeah, it was one of our best. Uh, we knew it was going to be a tight game because over the past three years we've had very tight battles with Richmond and and yesterday it probably was one of those eight point games that if if we lost we would have dropped almost dropped a you know game or two games away from the top eight and uh, and from there we just it might have been a bit of a battle but. Just the effort um, and the consistency over the last six weeks while the team has been great. At Windy Hill, the Bombers believe they've learned many lessons from their thrashing at the hands of Geelong, and those lessons will be put into practice when they confront a marauding Hawks outfit on Friday night. We can come out the same way Geelong came out after their loss, then it's going to be a really big game. So I think uh, we'll look at our tapes today, and um, the team we are is we know that you know we're a resilient team now, so we know that when we're under the pump, and uh, things aren't going our way, that we can turn it around and we can come out and uh, you know, we can hunt them. In an ominous sign for Essendon and for the rest of the competition, the Hawks are a chance to regain Luke Hodge and Lance Franklin, with the captain the more likely of the two. I think he's pulled out pretty well and um, feeling pretty good. He's pretty vibrant down, downstairs this morning, so um, I think he'll be putting his hand up. But whether or not the, the management issue, just um, you know, obviously Eddie had on Friday night and big game and a hard ground is whether that's the best preparation for him or whether it's better to have another week um, running around at Box Hill. And when quizzed on his coach's anger management? Yeah, the gaffer, he's an interesting one. He's a, I, we do um, you know, look alike and all that sort of thing. You search angry little man on Google and believe it or not, first thing that comes up, so you can try that at home, see what you think. But, um, you know, he's a, he he's, wears his heart on his sleeve and it's part of what you love about him as a coach and part of what probably frustrates you at time as a as you know, a supporter, but um, you know, you take the good with the bad, and he's doing a great job with us at the moment. So. And in Brisbane, the Lions are bracing themselves for a fired-up West Coast as they fight to keep their slim finals hopes alive. This is a, a fantastic challenge for our players. So, yeah, playing in Perth, they want to get back on the winners' list after losing on the weekend, and um, you know, we know what they're capable of and the scoring power that they have. So, um, you know, our players understand the task that's in front of them, um, but you know that. Other than the weekend, I think we've been in fairly consistent form. So, uh, you know, if we still are able to execute that, no matter where that is, then, um, you know, we'll be in the hunt. That's all you ask. So it's been a big Monday of footy news. And don't forget to keep clicking back to afl.com.au 
all afternoon for plenty more. We've got the verdict coming up, so you'll be able to hear everything from the match review panel and also all the latest on Liam Jarrah's court case up in Alice Springs. And we'll see you tomorrow.